Good afternoon, traders. How are you all doing today? It's now Tuesday, uh, February the 6th here. It's about 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we're going to go over Bitcoin. But before we do that, make sure you guys upvote all this stuff on Steemit. I would really appreciate that. And please also like, subscribe, and share all the stuff on YouTube and on Twitter as well if you find that the material has helped you. So we're going to go over quickly, first of all, yesterday, what happened. So if we talk about yesterday, um, I was actually calling a lot of the live t live stuff on Twitter, basically all of my positions, because I wanted everybody to get in on the action that I got in on that as well. And I thought it was pretty cool that um, we were basically trading together, right? I was tweeting all of my live calls. I was also analyzing it on the spot as well and making sure that you guys are aware of what's going on. I think that it's really important to be transparent and every time we win or lose we have to review every single time all the lessons that we've learned this is cr this is crucial it is a major criteria to becoming a better and successful trader if you don't review your lessons of all of your wins and your mistakes right how can you improve as a trader you have to know what you did right so you can constantly focus on those things as well and also make sure that you know what you've done wrong so you can learn from all of these past experiences so what i used to do was i used to um i used to keep like a, a massive document of all of my wins all of my losses and i would review it very thoroughly after each trade because i needed to know exactly where it went wrong and exactly where it went right so let me explain to you first of all the mechanics of a falling wedge a falling wedge does something like this and it does five touches so a falling wedge has two sloped support lines right like that a, sorry a slope resistance and a slope support and this can only happen officially okay officially it can only happen in the ending fifth wave now it cannot be in the third wave position okay wedges don't happen in the third wave occasionally you will see it on an a wave but it is rare it is usually found on a fifth wave so it's called an ending fifth wave diagonal or a leading first wave diagonal right that's how you find them and then when it gets to the bottom here it wants to break out and that is a key thing to know that it wants to break out there and we are about to do something very massive so you guys have to watch this you have to pay attention to this video because something big is going to happen in the next um in the next little bit and i want you guys to get in on it okay and now another thing i'd like to talk about is elliott wave with fibonacci retracement so you guys understand some of the theory that is going on all right so some of the theory is goes like this this is elliott wave right here i'm just trying to it's lagging right now a little bit there we go so elliott uh, i'm going to draw a little bit better but this is a pretty sloppy drawing i'd say one two three four and five just like that sorry i'm just going to move my little resistance up there a little bit as well make sure that we all don't get bull trapped or anything like that in there so then we take our Fibonacci retracement for wave one, or sorry, for wave two, only in the wave one territory. And then we take retracement for wave, sorry, this will come up a lot. You guys will see it from now on come up a lot, my alerts. And then we take Fibonacci retracement for wave three, or for wave four rather, only for wave three. And then finally, when the whole five wave completes, we take Fibonacci for waves one to five, and we try to find a reasonable place to buy back in. And yesterday, I was tweeting about um, basically all of these targets. I was doing it on a one-minute time frame, so you guys, uh, you guys knew exactly what was going on yesterday, right? When you do it on a one-minute time frame, a lot of people will say, "Oh, you're trading on a one-minute time frame? Yeah, you got a problem with it that I can trade on a one-minute time frame and you can't? You know what I mean? It's like, okay, just because you can't doesn't mean other people. Uh, like, just because you can't doesn't mean everybody can't, right? I'll trade on a one-minute time frame. I don't care, and I do it really well. So for the people that are judging, you guys, uh, you guys need to maybe learn a little bit more before you judge, okay? Because we can gladly have like a trading competition if you guys want. Anyways, I'm just joking around. I gotta turn off these alerts. Um, I don't want you guys to. Actually, nah, I'll keep it on. It's all good. Now, now we're about to, uh, to break this, in my opinion. Just going to see how far it goes. So this, these were some really easy targets to obtain. And this was the first wave. This was the second wave coming down. The third wave. The fourth wave. And now the fifth wave goes something like that. And then we notice that a channel is actually being made right here. Okay, 
we notice that there is a beautiful channel like that, right? And then we also notice that this right here as well is a channel right here, right? And then another thing to make note of is that on the first wave, it actually ended up doing this. It ended up making a diagonal upwards. So this is called a leading first wave diagonal. And this leading first wave diagonal right here, it ended up breaking downwards. And because it broke down, we were easily able to obtain some targets. And let me show you guys how we do that. First of all, we take our, our trend line as our support right here. And then for Fibonacci of the first one, it actually retraced a lot, okay? And I want you guys to know for that for a first leading wave diagonal, that the wave four can overlap, okay? You guys really need, you know, the majority of my comments that I see is people saying, oh, wave one territory and four are overlapping. You guys really need to read a few more books before you comment on things like this because th it's, um, it's a very rookie kind of mistake, right? If you don't know all of the, the different rules and stuff as well. So here we're looking like uh, it's it's making a leading first wave diagonal that's actually going to break down. I believe it's going to go to about 7200 right now before it breaks this resistance right here because it always likes to double or triple test something before it breaks it, okay? So now what we did was we took our Fibonacci retracement and surely enough, right? Surely enough when we draw this sloped support right here, what we see is it gets to a 382 level. So this would have been a very good place to buy it right here, right? Right around here. So anyways, now that we have our leading first wave diagonal out of the way, we ask ourselves, what is this whole mess going on right here? Hmm, okay, so this could have been one, two, three, four, five. This could have been A and one, two, three, okay? Four, five, this could have been A, B, C, and then there's a five wave in here as well. So this could have been the entire corrective pattern already. So now what we're looking at, in my opinion, is a leading first wave diagonal that just goes something like that. A leading first wave diagonal that looks like it wants to break downwards right now, just based on staring at the order books over here. And then we're gonna count this as officially wave one, so this is more geared towards day traders right now. Yeah, this is definitely geared towards day traders, just so you guys know in this video right here, all right? It's not a long-term play. I am a day trader. I'm not going to be really focusing too much on long-term, just maybe once in a while, but uh, definitely not too often. The key breaking point, by the way, here is like 70, what is it? I just want to find the high right now, 74, 20. Yeah, now we're breaking out of it, see? Now we're absolutely breaking out of it, and it's looking good over here. We just don't want to, we don't want to be bull trapped, right? We don't want to be bull trapped, so we have to stay a little bit patient. But the video here was going to be the point that this is now wave two coming down like this right now, okay? This is wave two coming down right here. And that to me looks pretty awesome, I'd say. And then now we're going to talk about our now our next targets let me just my computer is lagging so if you guys see me pausing a little bit and not talking it's because my computer is lagging and i'm having some issues with these particular ones right now Alrighty. sorry i'm just uh buying into a position right now actually I'm good. Sorry, sorry, just give me a second, guys. I'm buying into a position. I want to go long on it. We broke it, okay? We broke it, so I have every reason to go long on it right now. There you go. So now, we're going to talk about some targets, okay? We're going to talk about some targets, and I'm going to tell you guys what my intentions are. Now, what we do after this is done is we take our Fibonacci retracement from from right here to right here to right here and then we're gonna go for a 1618 extension so now it looks like we are breaking out of there very very clearly right now and based on our extension we have two different targets okay we're gonna go for this target right here in my opinion that would make sense one target could be here and then our second target is right there. And this is all just based on our first wave count that we have right here. And it's no doubt that we're breaking up, right guys? 
like nobody could even argue that for a moment that we're breaking up right here we have officially made our first wave right here we have now made our second wave right here and then now we are working on our third wave if this was our first wave like that then our second wave is right there like that so I will be going for a general target between basically 8200 and 9k that's going to be my longer term targets not even long term this is my day trading um, day trading guys so yeah so that's one target so actually you know what I'm gonna go over Elliott wave in here and we're gonna just draw it out for what I think it could possibly be because we do want to get a five wave count right so something like it could be something like that where that's one okay this is two right there three could be somewhere right there we'll say we'll just say four is somewhere right around here just as an example this is just an example and the fifth wave is there i'm very conservative and that that's what something that you guys have to understand okay i'm a super conservative trader i always go for my wave three with a one-to-one -one extension slightly higher than it because I assume that wave 3 is often the longest and never the shortest. And I need to let you guys know right now that we are making a very parabolic move, okay? This is a super parabolic move up right now and there's a lot of opportunity to make money. We are now officially in a short-term uptrend. We have not confirmed anything for the long trend yet. Nothing long-term at all yet. So I need you guys to understand that this is not like a long-term call or anything. And this is just to go over uh, some of the things that we've gone over before. So we have officially closed above here already. Above this previous resistance of 74.20. It was right over here. We are well above it. We are moving parabolically up right now as well. So it's making a... I'm sure everybody's pretty happy right now. Let me just give me one second here. I got to check my position as well yeah definitely want to check my position here i think we're going to end up going even a little bit higher than that right now before we end up coming down but do you guys notice what i'm talking about with a parabolic move like that see look at the moving average right it's parabolically moving up the biggest mistake that people make is taking profit too early during a parabolic move up now on the five minute chart as well we are absolutely in a in a massive uptrend right now, okay I'm going to, yeah, I, I'm going to show you guys it on the 5-minute chart. There you go. On the 5-minute chart, it's parabolically moving up. On the 15-minute chart, we have also confirmed an uptrend on as well. We're well above the EMA. On a 30-minute chart as well, we are confirmed on an uptrend right now. On a 45-minute chart, we have confirmed on an uptrend. On a 1-hour chart, we have not confirmed it on an uptrend yet. Once we get to an uptrend on the higher term, um, that's, that's where it's going to get fun, guys. It's going to get incredibly fun, and I'm going to give you guys a lot of play-by-play, -play, so you guys have to make sure you focus and make sure that you guys work just as hard as I do. Because I don't think that you guys know anyone in the crypto space that puts in the time that I do, right? And you guys know the amount of time that I put in. I put in 16 hours a day of hard work, right? So if you guys want to focus on making a lot of profit, you guys also have to hard you have to put in that hard work as well. There's no slacking off guys. Okay? This is now a bull short-term market, and this is where this is what we've been waiting for. This is the moment that you guys have been waiting for for 50 days now, where we have been in a bear market. Do you guys understand that? Okay. You guys probably have lost a lot of money. You probably have made a lot of, oh, sorry. Some of you have probably lost a lot of money. Some of you have made a lot of, made a lot of money in the bear market. But what I'm sure of is that a lot more people have lost money in a bear market. Okay. And you guys, this is the moment. This is the moment you guys have been waiting for. For the next few days, the next few hours, you guys have a chance to make an incredible amount of money, but you need to pay attention to a lot of things going on, okay? So my targets, guys, this is one, two, three, four, five. There's no doubt about that right here, okay? We are in a channel. This is wave two right now. We're now starting our wave three, right? We are starting our wave three, and let's see how far this is going to take us because I think it's going to take us to some pretty high numbers right now. Look at this. I was about to close my position to short it, but then I realized, why the heck would I want to ever short Bitcoin? Woo! We're doing fantastic today, guys. So these are my targets right here. Okay? This is one of my targets right here, first of all, okay? One of the targets will obviously be the channel resistance around 7,800. 
right? Like we're just gonna keep to this channel right now. And I think it's gonna eventually get there somewhere and then break down. Okay, these are my quick thoughts, guys. These are my quick thoughts on Bitcoin. I just wanted to leave you guys at that for now. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. You guys just review the video if you need to know what's going on and where the targets are. And other than that, have yourselves a fantastic day traders. I would really appreciate an upvote on Steemit. And make sure you also like, subscribe, and share to all the material as well on YouTube and on Twitter. And if you guys absolutely love it and you want to let me know I'm doing a great job, you're welcome to donate to the Luna and Philicon cryptocurrency <laughs> And all of it just goes towards her vet bills. On that, have a great day, traders. These are my targets, and I stand by them. Bye now.